Beer Laws Podcast, three. episode 197. We're joined by a special, he puts the special and special guest I've heard, D Lemon, D underscore Lemon on the social medias. And obviously Toby's here and Brandon's here. The wrong Brandon, the right Brandon, depending how you look at it. He goes by Ubin. But either way, super excited. It's kind of like a cross episode with a guest and it's Thursday. It's Wait, Thursday. your name is fucking Brandon? What? Yeah, we've gone over this, I think, four times. Mm-hmm. My name is Brandon, yeah. Yes. I've never been here for that. Hmm. Oh, I think you probably knew that back in like 2019. That, uh-huh. was, that was, I don't know. Yeah, see, he's again, just like me. He's like, no. Oh. Nope. Okay, well, you're, his, his, he's Brandon if we need to edit it out. That's the beauty we can edit it out. I'm probably not going to. But uh, just not sense thing. My name is Beep. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not even going to do that. Sure <laughs> Make I'll everybody try to... to figure it out. Be like, what the fuck? What? Is he really fucking up? Is he really? But um, yeah, super excited about this one. Again, we have uh, it kind of worked out pretty good because D Lemon's on the West Coast and it's hard to find a time that it all works out. So we're trying something a little bit different on this Thursday. Super excited. And uh, just quick shout out because I'm really bad at this stuff and I always forget. Shout out Cult Coffee. Super excited to have them as a friend of the show. They're one of the really the only coffee places I know where you can get a, a book and some coffee sent to you. Not the best of readers, but there's a lot of people that apparently drink coffee and read books together. So it's a good one. And the kind of their big things are mornings are hard. I'm waiting for you to say something. But uh, <laughs> so let us be a part of your great awakening. And again, it's it's some good stuff. So check them out. Cult.coffee. Links in all the descriptions. Toby really held back there. He was he really held back. Yeah. But pretty cool. 1999. You guys can get a book and some coffee sent to you every single month if you want. Cool stuff. But um, yeah. So what I was thinking for this one, obviously, we're, we're kind of doing a new format where it's more of a guy sitting at the bar, guy sitting around a bonfire, just free flowing bullshit. And, and it's, a, it's a lot more fun for us. So I think it's going to be fun for you to listen or watch us. And I thought it was a good opportunity for us to, at some point, just kind of, you know, Toby and myself, we're on the Eastern Standard Time, we're on the East Coast, and it just gives us an opportunity to kind of say the East Coast is obviously far more spear than the West Coast, and we can explain in many reasons why, and Lemon's going to be there. And then Eubin's just going to kind of sit there and be like, well, the middle of the States, guys, it still kind of sucks, but there's maybe a good thing or two there. But uh, Lemon, you're holding back. Go ahead. No, that's fine. No. Are you agreeing he's that the just, West Coast sucks? He's, he's just waiting for those. He's just waiting for the fans to stop fucking moving on his goddamn rig it's, that he's got back there that he keeps fucking mm-hmm. with. It's hard, it's hard for me to argue when I live in the most expensive state. True. I just True. got I just got my business license for uh, California. Mm-hmm. Um, but to have a business license in California, you pay eight hundred a year. Here. Wow. Yeah. A y- any business a year? or is any, it tiered? Any any business associated with an LLC or anything like that, if you have a business license. Registered to California, it's eight hundred dollars a year. Jesus, God so, damn! No, Wait, does I'm not the church, do the churches pay? Speaking of Jesus, do they have to pay hundred too? Hell no, they don't. No, you should open your <laughs> own yeah. church that is a business. www.churchoflemon.com. Uh, we have. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lemonsgloryhole.com. <laughs> that one works. That one you found that. You found it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, huh? I mean, you did go to a different site that was much different than the cult.coffee. Apparently, if you go to I Love Cults, that is also a thing. And apparently, they have beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go check yeah, that out. Come on back. Tell us what you find and uh, how many FBI agents show up to your fucking house five minutes later. Yeah, that's definitely a front for something, isn't it? I tried to make it lemonparty.com, but that one was taken. Mm. Tried making yep. it lemon party? Yeah. But we did. A... Yeah. Google it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to Google it quite yet, but I will after maybe. There's a lot of websites that are that that uh, that you're like, I'm going to buy this one. Nope, nope, nope. Every once in a while, I don't know if you guys do this, but I just love buying random domains and you get one and you're like, holy shit, how is this available? And you're like, I'm going to sell it and make so much money. And then you hold on to it for three years at nine ninety eight a year and nobody buys the goddamn thing. The minute yeah. you get rid of it, though, somebody buys that fucker. Yeah. They're just exactly. waiting because it's it's become it that's become a, a part of the game is now people like it's it's like the, it's Bitcoin before Bitcoin was a thing. People used to mm-hmm. buy the hell out of domain domain domain. That's a tough one. <gasps> He's having a stroke. Oh, shit. Name. do you smell burnt toast? Domain names. Fuck. 
And then they would, then they'd hold on to them and, and wait for a company to want to purchase it or whatever, or, or they'd get some new tech news. You know, this is going to be launching, you know, at some point in time in the, in the future, like two, three years out. So they'll go and buy that domain and wait. And then you, you, they used to get a ton of money, but nowadays people are just like, I don't give a shit, man. I'll put it like dot UK or some shit like that until it opens up because eventually that person's going to get tired of having it and they're just either going to let it expire or they're just going to stop updating the payment on it. And then we'll, we'll, I've got somebody looking daily to see mm -hmm. if it becomes available. So you remember in what was it? 2010, 2012, something like that. Dallas Cowboys, actually their domain went up. Yep. Somebody bought it. I mean, that person that, that led it up in IT definitely probably fired. But yeah, somebody bought it, and I want to say they got, what, $100,000, maybe something like yeah. that, which they probably could have got more. Oh, a hell of a lot more. hell of a lot well, more. Did you ever, did you ever watch uh, The League on FX? Mm -hmm. One like of the Taco. greatest shows ever ever made. Well, One remember, of the greatest they did a spoof shows about ever that made. Too. Taco bought Dallas or Cowboys.com or whatever. So Yeah, <laughs> and he, they brought him to the... Uh, they brought him to the to the training camp and everything, and he like made some ludicrous fucking deal, <laughs> yes. and that's how he started up. What was it the the E E N B, the Eskimo oh. uh, E B <laughs> the E B B N B or whatever he calls it, Something the Eskimo like Brothers <laughs> yes. and Breakfast. What a God brilliant show, yeah! What man. a brilliant show. Did did you do you ever watch that Lemon? Well, which show? The League. No. I watched oh. a couple of them. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it. I will, say, I will say this. Everything except for like the last season is a, is like a must watch TV kind of show. Mm -hmm. The last season was just not good. Not I, did just find out that, uh, I did just find out that you've been whacking off.com is available. It's not. Oh, sh no, like I spelled the way that he spells spelled it? Spelled the way that he has it. Y U B A N W H A K N. Oh. Uh, no, I because I bought it for him. I was saying because I was like he 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 bought that, and it's an actual site, yeah. H? I didn't know there was an H in it. I did it without the H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw through the H in there. Yeah, the, the actual, it's an actual I was like, site. I like, go to the actual site. It's a site. I'm scared. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is uh, something I want. Do you it's not like Stevo.com. It's not like Stevo.com where you go there and it's an instant like dick or something that pops out at you i think we accidentally showed it on one of the triple t shows one time <laughs> we used to uh, always change everyone's home page to meatspin.com and mm. so it'd be you know the big old dick spinning around saying you spin me right, right. it was great <laughs> spell it again it's uh, uh it, no, go ahead you, you uh y-u-b-a-n-w-h-a-k-i-n-o-v you been whacking off He's like, I would have never gotten yeah. that without you fucking oh, yeah. spelling it yeah. letter by letter. I wonder why it was available. It is. <laughs> it is See, another uh, brilliant site. It's yeah, amazing available. though, because whenever I type in Yubin, usually yeah. into like the search stuff, it's coffee or me every time. So <laughs> it's between like it. me and some ground coffee bean. Well, it's like the and number of people that ask if we have, if I have merch or a YouTube. I'm like, you type in Toby's Army. In your Google search and my YouTube and my merch page are the very first selections. Stop asking. Just but you know what the problem is? They don't ask Google. They get on Facebook and say, hey, does anybody know how to get Toby's merch? And then there's 8,000 comments that are like, oh, here's a link. I think it's here. Hold on. Let me message him. I know Toby. Let me shoot him a message on Instagram. And it's like, just use your fucking Google. That drives how me nuts. The craziness is how true that that really did used to be um, when my account was uh, after I got banned. Um, how many people just randomly like got a hold of me and was like, hey, I've got a friend that was thinking this. And I told him I know you. And so I, you know, will you tell him that I'm like, no, I don't. Bro, I, I have no idea who you are, what you're about. Like, we're not friends like. I'm not inviting you over for dinner with my family. That's not how this works. Mm -hmm. There's no mutual. There's no mutual association here, man. No. Like, I appreciate you enjoying my content, but whether or not you relate to the content or have been watching it for two, three years, that doesn't make us this weird mutual friendship that that you have playing in your head. 
real. Yeah. So let me ask you guys this. We're, we're all on social media, right? And, and we've all had probably some interesting kind of stuff happen that Toby did. What's some of the weirdest shit that you've ever got in a message either sent to you or whether a message wise? Because I know for me, I get nonstop pictures of fucking dudes in their beards. I mean, whether they're wearing shirts, I, I don't see the dick pics, thankfully, but it is every day I get at least 50 to 75 people that are just sending me a picture of their beard and be like, what do you think? Yeah, it's a well, fucking beard. But to, but to be fair, your be name fair. is Beard Laws, True. and you do a bunch of videos where you rate beards. The, well, I started doing it because the videos were, or the pictures were relentless. So I said, fuck it, oh. if they're going to send me all these, I'm just going to post them online. I don't care if it's a good beard, a shitty beard, uh, and people are going to make fun of you. You're sending them to me, unsolicited beard pics. I'm posting those fuckers. And that's kind of why the ranking started. I, I think I have I think I have somebody that thinks that I run the TikTok Tuesday show because they hit me up on Instagram. Um and they they must they must be sending me 20, 30 videos a day. And no context or anything, just videos. Just I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, Thank you, like, I don't, I, I want to be like, are you sending these in for the TikTok Tuesday show? Because I want them to go, yeah, I'm going, I don't run that okay. show, man. Like, I'm and, not trying to break somebody's heart, but at the same time, like, bro. Stop. And I just want to make something perfectly clear. Just because Beard Law's name is Beard Laws does not mean that you get to send him pictures of his beards. I'm only saying that because because my name is Yubin Wackenoff. I do not want videos of you beating your dick sent to my Instagram. <laughs> fucking liar. Not Please anymore. Fucking liar. Not anymore. I cut that Look, shit did out. Did you see the side eyes for Yep. He's like, Ooh, retract the message. Went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Close Other friends still count. count. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so well, it was weird, though, because right before we pressed record, you said that you were going to start that new segment where you were going to rank people whacking off to see, you know what I mean? Like how they were going. Are they, you know, going too hard? Why are the knuckles there? Uh, you, you, the points, you, say, you know, with the, the moisturizer. Why are the knuckles white, so, white, so white, knuckles. white? White knuckles. Too much grip. Why are the knuckles, yeah, why are the knuckles there? They're not supposed to. I'm not, I don't think I would judge somebody's form. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like maybe doing something to where I'm trying different toys. You know what I mean? Like what, what, that you would want be them to great. Say you're Rated. gonna do, put the toys on, yeah. Like so I was saying, like I'll start an OnlyFans, and I'm like, hey, this person from AdamandEve.com sent me this Sasha fucking gray masturbator. Let me rate it, and I'll be like Keith Lee, but on fucking masturbating toys. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, <laughs> hey, right back, everybody. Yeah, it's just gonna zoom no, I, in. And I'm gonna sit there that use was it, good. and then <laughs> boom. D, this right here is it. This is D, a you, Have you ever seen the guy on TikTok D that um, does the what? No yes. way. That, I think that's that, his name. That's it? that's what Yubin could have going for him, where he watches somebody else's video where they're using a toy, and he's like, "What? No way!" And then he goes and gets that same toy, and he tries it. I was like, "Fuck hell!" Yeah, the, the yeah all the it works. You can make your own personal pocket pussy, and he's like, "I'm gonna rate how these feel from top to bottom based on that's the and you know what I mean. And so, cost so to make efficiency." the measure like okay how big was the load how far did it shoot you know what i mean there's so many different variables that would make the review legitimate i feel so hmm. what else? five scores million yeah. dollar idea again boys hey matt yes do you remember when i told you that i thought a more free-flowing podcast would be good yep um i'm gonna just take a minute to regret my decision for just a moment <laughs> while we try to figure You're out right. What the fuck just happened here? <laughs> I was promised bar talk kind of flow. This is tame, okay? We're only 30 minutes or like what, 13 minutes in. We're good, okay? It's going to get progressive. Worse. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you guys, I know you go to at least on Thursdays to play darts. This is tame? Oh, yeah. The things that we okay. talk about and stuff like that. Th think about it, Matt. You're talking about you been being okay with going out into public, the people he's going to hang around with, he's got to be comfortable around. Now think mm -hmm. about you, Ben. Now think about the people he'd be comfortable around. Shit's going to get fucking weird, bro. Pretty yeah. scummy people, honestly. They're worse than I am. <laughs> I'm, but, I mean, I'm the saint in the group. 
Yeah, there is some there is some weird fucking shit apparently that happens in the middle of America. Really yeah, I mean, there's not. You gotta think. All the trends happen like a year later. We're like Russia, okay? Like they're celebrating the '80s now. You know, like oh, Miami Vice, good show. It's like, yeah, fucking great. That's what it's like in the Midwest. We get everything last. <laughs> So yep, Toby, is, is, Toby is doesn't want the dog to hear this. Uh, for anybody just listening, he is now back there covering the dog's ear, saying, "Don't listen to this shit." I will say this: I made the mistake one time telling my wife, "I was like, I really want you know, let's do it." And she's like, "Honey, I am tired." I'm like, "I don't give a shit. I don't need you to be part of it. You can just lay there." So I'm not joking with you. She did. She was like, "All right, fine, go ahead," and she laid there. Here's the thing. It. The way she did it was the fucked up part because she did it like this. Uh, eye contact? So as we're going, she's... Eye contact? No. Uh, Stop looking at me. Like, And I was just like... Mm. I can't, like, I couldn't do it, man. I was like, nope. God damn, like, fucking, yeah, that's... can you not make it so goddamn creepy at least? Like, close your fucking eyes or something. She's like, this is what you wanted. <laughs> oh, that's oh. even worse. This is what you wanted. I'm like, I'm like, fuck, man. If you didn't turn her face into a toaster strudel after that, I don't know. You're doing something no, wrong. No. That's what so I would now, did, like, maintain that eye contact. Yeah, but, I mean, so for now, I mean, for, from that point on, any I, I told her, you know, I was like, any anything I say about our sex lives is joking from this point on. Like, it's it's I'm not serious. Mm -hmm. Because I know the ramifications that'll happen if I say something and I'm truly serious about it, but that was a uh, that was a I don't ever want that to happen again. That was yeah, horrible. I, I mean, I saw it through you in the face in the movements, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm I don't think any of us are gonna make that mistake. No, but maybe you would, maybe you would to move on from this great conversation. Well, we never got to hear from D. So D, you oh. do you do um Twitch, right? Like you do YouTube as well, correct? You've got a YouTube channel, kind of I have one. Anything on it, but yeah. Okay, but I mean, you have you have your Twitch. You're still on TikTok, so you've got to have some pretty weird fucking inboxing happening as well, because Twitch uh, fans I, I, are by far way worse than TikTok when it comes uh, to Twitch. Twitch people, they're not really they're not really fans so much. Most people that try to hit you up through Twitch are trying to sell you themselves for like their artistic talent. We want to. I want you to make your panels. I want to help you make art. I want to. I want to have I make your emotes and stuff, and it's usually something that looks like it was made by a nine year old. So I'm, I'm it's usually a no. Um, mo yeah, most I guess of my the stories. live chat is probably a little bit better in Twitch than as far as because some fans are there uh, just to just to grief you the whole time in chat. I did post uh, one guy who tried to come in and uh, troll me through uh, the live stream, and um, uh, I, I roasted him right back. Um, so he was yeah. talking, talking something about how like uh, I got I got killed by an NPC and I, and I told him that you know my hands don't work quite right ever since I visited your mom so I kind of do my best at <laughs> that moment so there that one was fun live um, I did think he stay my, or did he go he stayed hell yeah he's like fair enough I'm like okay so that's well, like that's, that's like one or two times but that's why I'm saying when when it comes when it comes to Twitch there's a huge difference like you wouldn't be able to say that to somebody on TikTok and then not get offended and just like, oh yeah. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I had somebody get so offended with me on my last TikTok live because all I said was, I don't think you understand what a service animal really is. And they were like, well, all right, fine. Bye. And I was like, all right. Whereas on Twitch, they they want it's almost like they want that sarcastic back and forth kind of griefing. Mm -hmm. And they respect it more from the streamer if they can deal with it and in, in the can even fire back but they yeah. don't like that they don't like that on on tiktok everybody on tiktok is a special little flower that needs to be <laughs> talked to with the amount of respect they think they deserve and i think too this is my two cents on it where on twitch i think it's more of a respect thing because you're you're, you're putting out longer form content whether you're playing a game whether you're doing a live chat and i know you know you, you've done you know hosting game nights and community nights where you're doing stuff where a lot of times the TikTok crew are short form mostly, you know what I mean? Even though it's there, but I think a lot of those guys it's there. So when they see somebody doing something other than, I mean, TikTok niches you down, if they're doing something else and you're in a live and they're just like, this is what the fuck you're supposed to do. You know, 
Oh, that, that's that's what that really guy's smoking like, a cigarette. That person's yeah. drinking a beer. You can't do that on TikTok. <laughs> If a nine-year-old can't do it, you can't do it. Except for this special crew of people that we've allowed to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Um, so and like the nine-year-old yeah. that we allow on our platform and that's that, not yeah, supposed to let over yeah. thir- anybody under 13 on there. Yeah. Yep. I just sent uh, I sent Matt the like, link just now to that one. Um, but I think I think the worst couple of things that's happened to me on TikTok was I had one guy who kept messaging me trying to trying to like hook up and stuff like that. But he made four different accounts. Wait, and, you had a uh, guy trying to hook up with you? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, wait a minute. Made, let's define let's define hook up here real quick because Yubin's mind is already going in in a different direction. You no, know, I'm just wondering true. if it's the same guy. Is he from like the Netherlands? I don't I have no idea, but he dressed up like a lady three different times, so three different accounts. And the fourth count was the dude. Uh, like full on, like no no pretending or anything like that. But, like I don't I don't I know the or anything like, like that. Just, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Just just kept well, trying to get into my, my DMs and stuff like that. So you said he started. He was four different accounts, but by the end, he was just straight up. Hey, this is this is me. They, they, I don't know they if it was the, their- I think it was the first one. I think the first one was him, as he is, and then the other three. He tried to disguise himself. Maybe I'll convince him this way. It's still you. I still know it's you, Tony. Hey, can you stop? Yeah, it's still you're not. You're not tricking anybody. Yikes. Yeah. All right, um, so he. All right. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna upload this video clip. So we can yeah. watch this here. Are we gonna play it? Are we gonna get to see it? Oh fuck yeah, we're gonna play it. Let's let's that see. That is this. one thing that I really do admire about um Twitch streamers is they they get the ability to to clip it, you know. Mm-hmm. And either they yeah. can or one of their one somebody that's watching can can just yep. hey, there, I, I clipped it. And you've got that nice little highlight. Whereas, you know, as as somebody that goes live, well, whenever they don't get shut down, um <laughs> As somebody that goes live on TikTok thing. quite a bit, I'd have to go through like my lives are extremely long. My lives on average on TikTok are between three and five hours. God damn. Yeah, it's a ridiculously um, long amount of time. So if I wanted to do it now that TikTok allows you, as long as your live doesn't get shut down, you can download the recording. I've got to go through a full two and a half, three hours or longer of the live just to find that clip and then i've got to cut that part out so why not dual stream why not what dual stream um well because i don't i don't stream through well first things first my internet won't allow it i'm I'm, what's your internet connection like d let's let's get into okay let's get down this Uh, okay go ahead let's Mm -hmm. see we wanted angry toby for one of these and now you're gonna fucking get it so Let's start off with Yubin. Yubin, what's your connection again? Uh, you know what? Everybody just go ahead. Go to fast.com and just do a speed test. Go. Speed test. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Ookla, bro. I know mine. Ookla. I know I know mine. Ookla, I'll start. I know Ookla mine. I know. Ookla is not a good one to use, believe it or not, because it's actually, uh, there are there are services that know. pay Ookla to kind of. I don't know. Ookla 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 Okay, I'll throw mine out. I know what my numbers are. I, I pay for three hundred up or three hundred down, twenty up. That's that's what I have available through Spectrum in my area. So that's that's okay. what I am. And Toby, Toby knows, and his provider knows, and things are going to get a little wonky. Toby might lose his connection. They're always listening. So if if you don't hear his voice for a little bit, he'll be back. He's going to restart a, a, a router. Uh, you've been you. I saw that you ran it. And now the light bulb went off, and you're like, okay, these are my numbers. Uh, so, I mean, I'm paying for uh, gigabit speeds, but I'm in a separate building, so I'm a little bit further away on an extender, and I am pulling uh, 212 down and one, it's almost done, 43 up. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So, lemon. Is yeah, lemon. Gig up, gig down. Mine's a gig up, a gig down. Anyway. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's in California. I think you could live up in the mountains up in I Fresno and still pull that. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just fiber. That's all it is. It's just okay. fiber, yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's... I am I am currently at uh I just ran a speed test. I am currently at twenty-two up or twenty-two down and three up. How are we seeing you now? Right. Well, I, I would imagine it'd be like a mosaic photo of just like click click. So well that's but that's what happens anytime I've ever tried to stream on Twitch. Is it's anybody just... watching a movie in your house right now? Do you have Netflix playing somewhere? No. No, I'm I'm currently on a system where okay. nobody's on right now. 
We have yep. two Should modems in my house, that? and one of them is specifically used just for streaming. Why don't you look for Starlink? I have Starlink, uh, mm -hmm. but in order to have Starlink, you have to have 98% or better viewable sky. What? What's above your sky? Trees. I live in the fucking forest, man. Just put it at the top of the tree. Just really? Find the trees, put it up there. <laughs> right. How many? Just have uh, the trees. Down. Just do what California it, does. Just cut all the trees down. You'll be fine. Well, the they thing burn is, down, right? Or burn them. Down. <laughs> so when so Starlink would keep going out on me. That was the biggest problem. And when I contacted him, I was like, "Hey, you know, I've got ninety. I've got ninety-two percent viewability of the sky." And they're like, "Oh no, no, no. it's got to be ninety-eight percent or higher. You're going to have mad." How do they rate like, that? Not to cut you off. Yeah. How do yeah. they so rate the you, viewable sky? You actually you, you have to find like an area on your land. I have one area that is like I'm not even joking. Like. One tiny part of a tree branch was in this circle Scan that I scanned, but that was enough to, to take it down to 92% viewable sky. And, and they'll tell you, if you're not at 98% or higher, you're going to have massive drops, loss of service for periods, and so on and so forth. I'm like, well, that's fucking ridiculous. But when it was up, I'd be getting like 250 down and like 15 up or 20 up. Right. Um, but the problem is, is the latency. The latency was rarely, if ever, below 150 milliseconds. What about your cell phone? Uh, your my cell cell, phone my, if I did just my cell phone right now, hold on for a second. Let's yeah, like Ooh, you have five bars on your phone. No. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say yeah. We, we did talk. Uh, if you ever what? show up here and you don't have AT and T, you ain't getting shit for service. Mm. Yeah, we did talk to earlier that, that you guys because you guys were having issues. I was all excited because I'm, I'm a pretty small town guy as well. 5G was just coming to the area. They've been doing a lot of work and I was so excited. And then about four minutes later, they're like, 5G sucks. 5G is trash. You want the LTE. 5G, you don't get anything. And I was like, cool. So I'm curious out, out your way, West Coast, 5G solid, pretty good shit. Or is there issue? Because I know you've been you were saying you couldn't even send a text message and shit. Yeah, well, I mean, and also that was T-Mobile, so I had to switch to uh, AT&T. But yeah, I noticed whenever I switched to at and I don't know if it was just whenever I ported my number, but whenever I am connected to 5G, text messages, opening up uh, multimedia messages, difficult. So usually either Wi-Fi or LTE is the best option. Hmm. I, I, I feel like Simon's like, like problems I don't have. I didn't, I didn't yeah. notice a difference at all. I actually like was talking crap about LTE. I'm like, you guys didn't change anything. It's exactly the same. This whole hey, East West, this whole West Coast thing, man. You guys are privileged. I'm like the redhead. Yeah, you're kind of making West. it sound like West Coast is better now at this point. I mean, if, if you're talking about technology and internet and yeah. things like that, yeah, absolutely. If you're talking about people, no. Yeah. <laughs> I think let me throw this have KK Cali there over there with you. So mm. I have a question though. I've been I've been I've asked a couple of people in California, and you might not be a huge sports guy, so maybe this is just. But you probably work with or have worked with or know people that are sports people, right? Is that fair to say? Football. Big fucking thing. I love football. And I'm just curious. You, you, this, again, doesn't appeal to you, but you, the people, do they love waking up and having football at 11 and getting to drink and shit? Because over here, it's obviously 1-4 than the Sunday night game. Over there, you get three hours earlier to start your day watching football, start getting drunk, so you can get day drunk. And then, and then you know, finish up with a couple of nights. Like for me, that would be pretty fucking cool. I, I would, I would say there's a there's a pretty pretty wide range of people. I think I think West Coast does have that mix of of people from all over the place. So I do I do have some people that will wake up and start drinking immediately to get ready for the with game. or without sports. Then, oh yeah, and then the other ones that just can relax. But no, there's some pretty pretty crazy diehards. I know I personally hate it when there's a, a World Series or an NHL, whatever. There's a final and there's a West Coast team. Because that means the games are fucking later. And I hate it when, when my teams are on the West Coast. Because now i got to stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning watching these fucking games. And I'm just like, mm. you know, you get a late night um, you know, hockey game that doesn't start till 10. Double oh, yeah. overtime. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, because uh, in the Midwest, you're like, so our games start at noon, which seems like perfect. It's like, oh, hey, it's lunchtime. Time to start drinking. Time to start eating. It's, it's perfect. Um, mm -hmm. But those late games, I could imagine the East Coast having another hour on top of that. Uh, and I'm very envious that the West Coast gets to not only get drunk, enjoy the game, but still be able to even go out afterwards 
and still be able to do shit when we're all like, fuck this. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's midnight, one o'clock. No way. I will say that I, I really do, as far as being, as far as watching sports goes, I do miss living in Minnesota. It really is like a perfect time zone for all sports because going two hours back, you know, over in California isn't that as bad as like you wouldn't think that it would seem that much worse having the, you know, having a three hour time difference over a two hour. I mean, it's just an hour, right? But the difference really is it's, it's astronomical when it comes to like, Oh shit. You know, what time is it now? God damn. What time do I got to work tomorrow? Fuck. Like that's what I was going to say. It doesn't really matter as much until that alarm goes off in the morning and you're like, fuck there's that, that extra three hours would have been nice. Yes. I did enjoy that when I visited the East coast. That was nice. What time is it? Well, I can go back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, oh what time is it? Yeah, going to bed. Going to bed. Yeah. So, all right. Let me, let's show the video that uh, that he sent over a while ago. Yeah, let's see this. Bringing there. Let's, uh, this is, again, a video to kind of bring it back of somebody that was trolling Lemon in his Twitch stream. So make sure you guys check it out. D underscore Lemon TTV, correct? Underscore TTV. There's an underscore there. In the name. Yeah, why yeah. wouldn't he have more underscores in his name? I mean, I was 92% right, okay? You were. Oh. <laughs> doesn't, give me, doesn't give me internet, but I was close. <laughs> All right, let's, let's say it, Toby. Next video. Next video. Hold that trading. Yeah. He died to an NPC, missed all your shots. Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. Arm Jedi, welcome. Uh, I am human potato with an arm that looks like this on a relaxed phase. When it's not relaxed, it's like this. So, you know, when I can actually get some shots, it's really rare. Not a real rare disease, but um, after I visited your mom, it kind of like just took over the hand and it was harder to um, control after that. <laughs> <laughs> were you watching the video was i yeah it wasn't playing for me it froze oh. i'm oh, like that... look at it locked it didn't move at all i was like okay this is weird well, that's horrible. Have, you have you thought about trying to use microsoft edge <laughs> <laughs> never. Never, hey, ever, ever. first person ever say that uh microsoft edge if you're looking to uh, sponsor a podcast we know some guys because we're here for you because 25 percent of Most actually is. the people in the studio are using you <laughs> Nobody else is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't the, have the, a choice. We did watch it. Tried, uh, it I guess it was Google, cool. It looked like hot garbage. We tried Mozilla. It, it fucking was uh, looked great, but the the sound audio was like watching a fucking old school nineteen seventies Hong Kong kung fu fucking movie. Mm -hmm. You know, so somebody being a smart ass was like, "Have you tried Microsoft Edge?" I was like, "You know what? Fuck you. I'll try it." And got this is the one that works. Why? I hate to say it, but that someone was 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 Yubin. And yes. he's not gonna let that go. Small I, I never... victories are great big victories for me. Okay, especially when it comes from Toby. But I'm mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna gloat too much. Too much. Yeah, you're just because lying. I had just to go do the same thing like two months ago. Remember, that's the reason why I'm on Firefox now because I downloaded everything because I had such a uh, a difficult time watching videos like Lemon is now currently i think i tried i think i tried um opera gx once and i don't know what it looked like to everybody else but what i what i was seeing was everybody else to include myself my entire video screen it looked like i was trying to play you know the pokemon gold cartridge on the fucking nintendo d uh, on the nintendo ds <laughs> Dude, it was bad. Like everything was so like giant pixels. I was like, dude, is this is this 32 bit? Like, what are we doing here? I can see why they yeah, made four. You guys were fine when it You're played. Really I saw all of you guys just fine. It was just the video, so I was like, oh, this is awkward. The video stopped playing. Well, I want to bring this back. Game. You didn't hear Yubin's joke. I, we need. I need to bring attention to that because that was pretty fucking good. And, and I'm gonna now you have to say it, but you gotta sell it like okay. you just did. Okay. Well, you were just doing the whole, you know, blowing the cartridge thing. And I said, Whoa, now I know why he made four accounts. You're really good at blowing. I mean, not to mention the fact, think of how warm and cozy your balls would be sitting mm -hmm. on the on that beard. Mm -hmm. He's just like, I'd rather not. No. He's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can here's the problem. I can never tell if d is genuinely interested in what you're saying or or if he or not because his fucking natural eyebrow shape is always that of somebody trying to do the rock eyebrow 
he's like it's just progressively like, like you, you got just, Botox as a baby, and like it's just you're just surprised, and it just failed time. after that point. Just it's always like this. How the fuck do you move them both? Can They're anybody else do that shit? He's what? wiggling both his eyebrows differently. Yeah. Oh, and he, he just, just did, did the, the fucking wave. worm with his eyebrows. Just... All right. How long have you been practicing that? Straight up. Dude, Bottle look left. at the size of those fucking eyebrows. Those, those are the strongest <laughs> muscles in his fucking body. That's the only reason I practice is because of how often it gets brought up. Like, oh, look at your eyebrows. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you do have. Well, for one, your your eyebrows, because they're as dark as they are, seem ungodly long like from here to here is is a length look at you it's, it's the thickness it's the you have like here's the, the thing his eyebrows are a choice as as a fucking me character as a me you know what me. i mean like uh, it, like in every me. fucking video game where it goes like a solid bar and then like this little taper <laughs> down those. nudge at the end that's love those. that's the eyebrows he's got <laughs> every video game has those eyebrows there's some damn good looking eyebrows though. I will say that yeah, it's I'm just not, they I'm are not, I'm not saying they, anything negative girthy. about your eyebrows. I'm saying they're well, I'd fuck. They're damn good. Like I wish I had some thicker eyebrows because I just wish I had two cuz a lot of times it's one and I got to so, take care of it. I do have to do that as well. Yeah. Wait, I'm wait, Italian. Yeah. So. God damn, if yours connects too, Jesus Christ, Eugene Levy, you know what I mean? Like fucking it's just, just straight bridge. getting it. Yeah. Wait, so wow. both you, guys, you, guys, you guys have to wax your eyebrows? Is that what I'm hearing? I, do wax. I don't wax I them. I have the barber uh, straight razor them. What the fuck? You don't have those problems? Fuck them. Dude, do you not you see? Never... My eyebrows look like they're scared of each other. They're so far apart. Yeah. So, no, I don't have that problem. They do look like the McDonald's arches. Like, they're kind of like, just, you know what I mean? They curve right, a lot. Not, I mean, they're not, they're not that bad. They curve no. a lot, it seems like. Oh no, that's just the shape of your eye with the shadow. Okay, on my screen, looks like it's almost your whole fucking eyebrow. No, no. yeah, they still curve a lot. So three out of four. I, of have us very, have, I do have very sunken in eye sockets. That's Nobody a, wants to say something. They're all thinking. You, bit, you fuckers are thinking it's something. A little bit of Down syndrome is what it is. It's just that that extra chromosome is just popping out through the eyes. Can we, dude, we're gonna get fucking canceled so damn fast because we are. Uh, bleep it out. Hey, bleep it out. Don't throw us away. Matt, I, I, I thought pre-recording would be a great idea, but the amount of editing I now have to do because you've been like, oh, nobody's watching us? Sweet. Oh, I do like that part, actually. I mean, I'm yeah. still going to roll the dice and just send it because uh, no, no, I mean, roll the dice is a good thing because right now when this is being played, I'm actually in Vegas. So uh, I'm probably rolling a dice. Uh, insert crap joke or poop joke here. I just, I, I've seen a lot more stuff on my TikTok feed that like the whole Theo Vaughn stuff, it's not getting reported. And he is wow. openly talking about, he's you know, down Theo syndrome. Vaughn. Oh, he's constant. Also. Yeah. But but I mean, even back then, though, usually if you were saying that, because he is Theo Vaughn, he would be more inclined to be in trouble for it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I feel like people that have special check marks and a lot more money in their bank accounts and, you know, are more popular, they get away with a lot more shit. Mm. I mean, yeah. I mean, like no, even Tom Segura made fun of the Down syndrome right. community. He got pretty, he got pretty upset. Well, I've only known my my entire almost five years on TikTok now. I think I've only ever known of five, four or five blue check marks who have had their accounts deleted, and three of them got theirs back. Mm -hmm. The other one got one one got his back, but they took away his blue check mark. Wow, I've never heard of that. Who's the yep. other one? I know one of them, I think. What? No, no, no. I'm talking about one of the ones that did get theirs back. One of the three that did get theirs oh, back. I got it back, but they took away his blue check mark. Now, uh, I do know somebody else who just legit had their blue check mark taken away. That was slow mo. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Well, see, uh, Hawk hates you. She lost her whole entire account. She was blue check mark, too. So she had to rebuild hers. Which is crazy what because I, of what I always think is hilarious is so when it comes when it comes to talking about something like TikTok and you know building your account and everything as somebody that's lost their account, I always find hilarious when people are like, "If I lose my account, man, I'm done. Like I work too hard for <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up." 
it takes nothing to just yeah. keep doing what you've been doing. So the question is, is why are you doing it? Are you doing it because you think you're going to someday fucking make millions of dollars doing it? Well, let me tell you something. That That is a very rare fucking case um, yes. to be able to be successful enough to where, you know, you're like your PewDiePie's and, you know, where you, you can just rely on that. Mm -hmm. um, not to mention the fact TikTok is way too volatile of a platform to it's way too unstable. It's way too volatile. Um, monetization on there changes way too often. Um, it's just, it can't be relied on for a, a sole income. I lost, I lost my account at 80,000 followers. And I was like, well, I'm just going to keep doing what I, what I, what I've been doing. I, I'm not creating like, don't get me wrong. Getting, getting a bunch of followers feels good, but I mean, it didn't mean anything when they all went away because 80,000 followers doesn't mean you're getting 80,000 views per video. It just means you got 80,000 people that, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. You're probably going to get around 10% of the people are going to gonna like hanging around and see what you have to produce every time that you make something or jump into your live and see how you're doing. But the majority of the people that follow you on social media, they don't give two fucks about you. They saw Excellent. one funny video on their For You page at some point in time gave you a follow because they thought it was hilarious and they never gave a shit about you again. Yep, You're probably no so far though. back on their following group line that they're not even paying attention to you anymore. They don't even remember yep. who you are. So let me ask you guys. Point, oh, sorry. Go I ahead. mean, 1.8 million followers right now, if I were to lose it tomorrow, it wouldn't stop me from just making another account and keep making the content that I make. So I had a conversation with a couple of people this week and, and they were out at this show or whatever with this, some kind of music, or whatever. And they're like, oh, it's really cool. I got to hang out with some famous people and this and that. And I was and it started this whole conversation of what do you think is famous? So it's really like for me, it's like, all right, let, I'm going to go into a very small town. Right. I'm going to go and get or grab a cup of coffee at a, a convenience store that's there. And people recognize me there in the smallest of small places that's fucking famous you know what i mean oh, that, yeah. that that was my take on it and obviously there was a little bit so i want to know your guys i guess take what would you guys say is famous because like i said they were like oh they got all this on tiktok they got like a million followers on tiktok and this and this and i'm like eh, i don't know if that's famous are they popular are they good musicians 100 fucking percent famous if i yeah if i go to a foreign country oh and I go walking around the streets of, you know, I mean, and we'll say even one of the bigger cities, right? Like, let's say you go to Europe, you know, and you're in, you know, um, Paris, Munich, Germany, or, you know, oh. or you're in London or you're, you know, you're in Paris and somebody recognizes you. You're not just popular on a social media app anymore. Anyway, you're, you're, you're at, at the least very well known. You may not be, I'll never call anybody that wasn't already for the most part, like a famous person for me, you know, being an actor or a singer or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll never consider anybody from a social media platform as a famous person. Very well known, m probably popular on whatever that social media platform was. Sure. But famous? No. There's nobody famous on fucking TikTok. Yeah, not unless they were already that way before they came over and they came over with an automatic blue check mark and they're not the ones dictating their content. They've got a whole PR team that are having them do it like that's. No, I, that's how yeah. I feel about it. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm, no, yeah. you got nothing. Oh, that was supposed nice. to scroll. That was supposed to scroll across. I'm gonna do the scrolly thing. Thank you. Um, yeah, and, and I kind of said the same thing, and it wasn't to knock their musical talents. I mean, I'm clearly not one to um, judge there. I have no musical talents. And I said, hey, you're really good. You know, I guess country music, people listen to that. Good for them. Uh, you know, and, and it's cool that some people do country get found, people. whether it's country through music, TikTok, whether it's through YouTube or any of the other stuff. I get that. But, man, that famous word. I, I don't know why it triggered me. Don't don't know. But it was just this. It was, and it was, wasn't like a heated argument, but. It was just one of those things i was like fuck i mean i mean I, it, it, with that being said how many how many tiktok people that weren't famous before they went to tiktok actually are now truly famous because it's got to be a couple percent of tiktokers i would say Maybe one of the most successful ones that i know is what little nas x i think is one of the most because then he started on tiktok too 
Yeah, but I wouldn't consider him a TikToker. I'd con- consider him a musical artist. Right, but it means I mean, several musical so, artists found themselves on so Vine, like question, Shawn Mendes and stuff like that as well. But yeah, I guess I'll kind of point it down more to this because I mean that's like saying that um, you know Justin Bieber is probably one of the most famous YouTubers of all time. But he didn't get his start on YouTube, did he? Yes, he did. Oh, did he? he? Did. Okay. Yes. Start on YouTube. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know that. We'll him. But that's what that's what I'm saying. So we'll gotcha. I yeah. I take away people that are specialists meaning they're they're musicians right like they're they're musical artists tiktok is tiktok was never really there for that right like tiktok was about doing stupid dance trends and funny videos right that that was that was essentially what tiktok started off as didn't it start it didn't it start it's but and i remember reading an article it was somewhat recently that the people that originally, and obviously it's been sold, and all these other groups have bought into TikTok. But originally, yeah. it was it was it was a, a form that they tried to actually push to kind of be almost like online homeless for for people, so they could get money, get donations, and they could get these people yes, across there originally. and take it. Yeah, is that very why I saw so much of that shit originally? That yeah, makes a awesome. lot of sense. Yeah, you know, and I didn't know the validity of the article, but I remember reading this, and I, and then I remember very early on it was a lot of people, and this is going to sound shitty, but it, it was a lot of people that looked like low income living, being like, "Listen, I can't afford diapers. I need my smokes. Like, if you guys could just throw me some money, you know, early this and TikTok, that." That's all that you saw as far as lives go. Like, the, you'd see it so much. Yep, I which dance. is also probably why TikTok was willing to give. 70 percent to the creator and 30 percent to themselves when they first started doing the live mm-hmm. program and then now it's TikTok takes 80 and, and the creator gets 20. That's is it real if you got a blue now? check mark and you're well known and you go live you you get you get you get 50 50. it's it's too gray TikTok doesn't have any publicly posted guidelines because they want to have the the freedom to adjust it to whatever suits them best uh, Hank Green did a video recently where he compared uh, the owners oh, of the YouTube. monetization. Yeah, where they were, where YouTube made, I think it was like four billion, but gave two billion back to the creators. Whereas uh, Musically, who I guess is still the main company who also owns TikTok, they made three billion and they only gave five hundred million to all of the creators on the platform oh, out, of, out of the entire thing. Yeah. And they say what? There's six hundred million plus creators on oh, yeah. on TikTok. Oh yeah, there's a lot, and and the the really really shitty thing now is that if if you go on there, I don't know about your pages, but a majority of my page is those half and half screens of movie clips or TV show clips that are already captivating that have already been made by somebody else, and the other half is somebody playing with sand sculptures. Guess yes. what? They have yes. fifteen oh. accounts. They have fifteen accounts. They are retaining the attention because your ADHD brain is paying attention to the sand sculpture, but also paying attention to this because that's how our brains are doing things anyways. Mm-hmm. So you're watching this dramatic story. You're watching somebody refurbish uh, a 1730s gumball machine, which is amazing. I love that content. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I haven't seen is, those, but I guarantee you now I am. So thank you for bringing that to my For yeah, You page just listening right now. They have 12 accounts. And guess what? They're making money. There was a couple people who actually made videos how to make how to make three grand a month off, off TikTok. Take this movie break down this scene into 32 parts. Take this one clip, apply it to the same videos all over and just upload all of them at the same time. And guess what? They're making thousands. And because yeah. there's no control, there's no there's no rule in place to say that you can't use other people's content. There's a lot of content creators who are who are making content consistently right now who those people are then taking their TikToks, making TikToks with the sand sculptures and the refurbishing things on the side. And guess what? They're making more money off of that too. There needs to be some type of like legal thing place that says if this is not your content you can't post it if you didn't make it if you don't own the rights to it you can't put it up there because I, I believe youtube has that right 100%. if you don't own the rights to it you can't use well, it yeah yeah too but yeah. You, youtube's youtube's is a little sketchy as well because youtube actually doesn't um youtube does not play a part in the mediation process of copyright so for instance uh my wife and i we have a we have a small um youtube account and we haven't posted anything there on a while because we kept getting you know tired of the copyright strikes we'd be playing a video game and we would get a copyright strike some company in india claiming that we were using their music 
on our video, which the only audio that we have is from the game itself, right? Yep. <clears throat> and as we all know, like doing doing um, game reactions and scary game reactions and stuff like that, those are all over the place on YouTube. Big thing, and yeah. we would do it and we'd get copyright strikes and we would fight it and then they'd let it go the entire 28 days and most of the time they would just drop it. Um, but YouTube is very clear. They do not play a part in that process um, of the copyright Check. claim and, and debate and checks or anything it, with the exception of hosting the platform for a copyright claim to be made. That is it. So when you go back, when somebody says, this is my content, TikTok will immediately take your, essentially take your video down or demonetize it immediately. Um, regardless of like, because we, we'd be getting them from these companies in India. And I'm like, I've never even heard of that song. Maybe it's the background music that was used for this video game. And you click on it and it brings you, you know, or you type in the name on Spotify or something like that. And it brings you to some song that's like, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, that was not in this anywhere. So you, you copy, you put in your saying, no, this isn't. And they'll eventually, they'll usually eventually just drop it. Sometimes they'll just let it run out. Other times they'll drop it right away because they're like, ah, you got me. But these companies attack hundreds of thousands of small accounts on YouTube all the time. It's a and most accounts aren't going to give a shit. They're not going to pay attention to it. They're like, well, I've got a small account anyway. What I'm getting maybe a hundred views per video. But yeah, if you if you still qualify for monetization, you have ads turned on. Any monetization that you make on that video, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You might make one dollar off that video. This company that is putting this hundred thousand copyright claims out a day on all these lower end accounts that usually won't look at that, they're now making a hundred thousand dollars a day. Fuckers. Dang. There's actually a, a story of somebody who copyrighted a musical tune that is played when you enter a cave in a video game and he was going after streamers people were playing this game and he said i copyrighted this one itty bitty clip it wasn't his it wasn't his audio it wasn't even a song but he copyrighted that section so anybody who was streaming that game got that part taken down jesus this is like on tiktok does the same thing with their copyright on their audios is um i was just scrolling through all my old videos uh yesterday looking for some you know like videos that are maybe two or three years old that i haven't posted in a while that i thought did really well back then and i thought well you know i got a whole new group of people from when i posted that two years ago than what i do now let me repost this and i found one and one of my favorite ones was me talking shit about like my dad and then you know me being my dad with a different pitch in my voice yelling from a distance and i just overlaid that there's no music in it. There's no nothing. It's literally just me talking and it's copyrighted. They remove the sound for copyright violation and there's no way to dispute it. I can't go in and say, hey, no, I want to appeal this. And even if I was able to appeal, there is nowhere for you to write your reasoning for appeal. You're not TikTok's guidelines, like you were saying, are so gray that they they apply and they there's there's that human bias so they have an automated algorithm that'll remove it and then it goes to a content manager hopefully maybe um that that's a human and then now you have to rely on the bias of that individual either liking or disliking you in general or your content or if they feel based like on their own set of morals their own feelings about things and they're going to determine but no, because TikTok's guidelines are so generalized, there's so much gray area, they can sit in there and say, oh, no, this is this is hate speech. And you're like, I said, I said, bananas are garbage fruit. And you're like, yeah, that's hate speech. And yeah. Like, what Why would you hate what? that? I like that. in the Republic don't like that phrase. <laughs> yeah. We were hanging out this weekend <laughs> playing a couple uh, games. Have you guys ever heard of the dice game Farkle? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Play it all the time. Okay. So apparently that was a game that was it's back funny. in like the night. I think it was that one. Uh, that was a, a, a thing back in the 1920s or 30s, but it was called something different. The copyright ran out. So this company then does the same game, same rules, everything, renamed it, and now have made a lot of money. So I spent a lot of my day today looking for old ass games. That, are, that aren't a thing anymore. See if there's still a copyright that I can rename it, put it out. So if, if you guys do this, the four of us, 
we're going to be millionaires. We just got another million dollar idea. Another million I mean, dollar that's, idea. And I was just like, holy shit. And I started kind of looking in. I'm like, fuck, that's is it Yahtzee? brilliant, but a little dirty. But it's, no, I guarantee it, Yahtzee, Yahtzee is not out of copyright. No, that, that was a game a long time ago. Still there. Yeah. Is Farkle Yahtzee? I'm looking at the. the... No, Farkle? Okay. You mean Farkle? No. It's Farkle, F A R K L E. Yeah. And you go to I love cults.com and you can see the Farkle. Right, 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 right. Okay. That's why I found it. I want everybody to listen to what I've got to say here, real Whoa. quick. Whoa. In Yubin, you know exactly what the fuck I'm getting ready to ask here. I know I'm not the only one that heard D say Fuckle. No, I heard Farkle. You fucking asshole. I did. I know. I know what you're going to just side with him because he's he's new to the show no. and you're, you're always looking for a reason to fuck with me. If you I can thought replay. I heard Fuckle and then I heard Yahtzee. And I was I was a little con- I was just thinking that it was yeah, a I a heard is Fuckle fu- Yahtzee. I heard- so what I heard was, what the fuck is this? Is this Yahtzee? And you were like, no, Farkle. And he's like, no, this this game is essentially Yahtzee. Yeah, and then, Farkle. And he so said, you don't know Farkle? Yahtzee. Or you think they're the I've same? Never, he's never played. I'm looking Farkle. at the rule sheet. Ah, uh, look at the rule yeah, sheet right so, now. It's so close to it. He said Farkle, and I I even said that too because I go, hey, because whenever you said it originally, I go, oh no, he said Farkle, and then you asked me, and then I I reiterated again. He, he said Farkle. That was a great. Going on on Twitch, I would have I would have clipped was. Toby's camera like Domo or as he was so trying to rebuttal that one just now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that you was definitely. Take- Take the coconuts outside and rotate them a little bit because the juices are not allowing your internet connection to pass through the conduit. By the way, I'm choosing trying West to trigger Coast. Again? I know it doesn't You're matter choosing anymore. West Coast already? I'm choosing West Coast. I mean, why the- just, I mean can I just make a point? If East Coast sure. is so fucking good, why did everyone make a big-ass rush to run to the West? They thought know- there was gold. Okay, yeah. so you're That's telling good, me that it, your it place was called the good. gold rush. I, I know it's the gold rush, but your place is so fucking good that you're gonna have to go ahead and just leave it just for a little bit of gold. Just a little bit of gold. A little bit of gold. So fucking I'm, good. I'm just here. saying. So people are gonna live out here. People are still moving. There's no more gold now that they're okay. that they're okay, obtaining. Mr. Mr. Deep fucking thoughts contemplator. Let me ask you this: Why is it called the Midwest? It's it not even remotely be. west. Ohio shouldn't be in the Midwest. Is it Midwest? Yeah. 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 Really? Makes no sense. Yeah. That makes doesn't no make a lot sense. of fucking sense. And like like a quarter of Kentucky, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Um, is it the good quarter no or sense. the bad quarter? There is no good quarter. I, did, I, I mean, I went to Lexington a couple times. I had a decent time there. A lot of ponies, a lot of good bourbon. That was a decent time. But I've also heard some stories that the inbreeding is so bad in, in some of that state that it's some shit that you don't even see on horror movies and shit anymore. Well, I mean, you're talking when you talk about the Midwest as well, you're still you go pretty far south for Midwest as well. Like there's states in the Midwest where you're like, there's no fucking way. Is there a, is there a map I gotta look up what the expanse is? Oh, of the it's Midwest. insane. I'll explain to you why they call it the Midwest while Matt's looking this up real quick. Ohio? It's because Ohio's originally Midwest? that's all yeah. the more that we owned. So it was originally called the West. And then when we slowly started expanding further west, they're like, well, we used to call this the West. This is now we're going to call this the Midwest. There's 12 states that are considered yep. Midwest. What's, and, the, uh, what's the for the South? Isn't it like Arkansas or some shit? I think uh, so. Technically, Oklahoma. Missouri. What, Missouri. What's MO? Is MO Missouri? Missouri. It's Missouri, baby. Montana. Fuck. I got to be honest. I'm terrible at looking at a map. Uh, yeah, I like didn't know Missouri was. I thought you're, you're closer than I thought, but it's, it's Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota. Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. Yep. Or is Midwest. I don't fucking get that. It's yeah. it's a blind, pretty blind it's like down. a how the it's fuck like is Ohio down teardrop? It makes no sense. How the fuck is Ohio in it? I would understand Colorado more than I would fucking Ohio. What would you exp- what would you put Ohio at? East Coast? Yeah. The East. It's I mean, right there. The it's general, right there the on the East. Great Lakes. You don't you East. don't have to be coast. You know what I mean? Because like even Colorado right now is the West, and it's not the coast. Utah is the West; it's not the coast. You don't need to be the East Coast. So West let me Virginia. ask you a dumb question: This is Midwest. Is this all considered West? Because is that so, how it breaks down? And this is all East. So, so you got West. Washington, Oregon, and and Idaho are considered the Pacific Northwest. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. What's, what's you Montana got California, which is can, essentially California and Nevada are considered West Coast, which I always thought was weird that they included Nevada in West Coast. Right. And Central then you've got, um, what do they call it? The, don't they call it the, uh, um, yeah. The four corners. Oh, yeah. That's the, that, well, that's your Rocky Mountain region area, right? Yeah. Right so, there. uh, and then like Texas is Southwest. Yeah. Texas is Texas, Oklahoma. Um, Texas is everything but East Coast. Yeah. Texas, Fucking Oklahoma, good. Arkansas, and Louisiana, I believe people call usually call Southwest. And then you've got your, um, uh, Kentucky or uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida is considered your South. And then you've got your like mid Eastern areas, which is your Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, Mar and then, and then everything from that point up is what we call the, the Northeast. No, it's pretty cool though. I mean, you're looking at this West coast, right? I know yeah. for me personally, I live way the fuck up here in New York. If I drive yep. all the way to here in like South Carolina, that's like 16, 18 hours. Okay. If I'm in mm -hmm. Washington drive down, I'm seeing three fucking states. And then, and then you're getting in this area. It's probably a lot fucking longer. So, I mean, that's pretty cool on the East Coast. But I feel like if a lot of shit was happening here early America, they were like, oh, we're going to do this. And by the time they got here and these gold rushers and all these people were dying on the Oregon Trail and shit, they were like, fuck it. We're out of state names. We're just going to have big ass territories with one name. Well, if it makes you feel better to travel from the A in Alaska down mm -hmm. to the thicker part before you get to the little tail there, that's mm -hmm. about an eight and a half hour trip. Can um, I go ahead and just make the point that Kentucky is more Midwest than Ohio? Ohio is more East <laughs> than Kentucky. Kentucky has more uh, right. Honestly, to be I'm in the surprised if, if Ohio is considered Midwest that Kentucky's not. But let be. me let me sure. point out while Matt's still got the map up. One other thing that irritates me to no end, and this kind of shows the the drop in either intelligence or education in the United States, is the number of young adults that I have run into that think that Alaska and Hawaii is south of <laughs> California. Yikes. And are literally right islands right next to each other is ridiculous um, man i was in texas i took a boat right to hawaii and whole it didn't even yeah, take yeah. that long really a little puddle guys, skip over to alaska a little 10 minute trip on the on the I'm, on the ocean there one of those people would be my wife uh there was oh. one time we were at the gas station and oh god no she oh, sees a license plate and it says alaska and i go oh shit you don't see that very often you know especially in missouri yeah. and she's like yeah how the fuck do you think they got it here and i was like they drove more than likely. And she's like, over water. And I was like, through Canada, I'm, I imagine. And she's like, why would it go over towards Canada? It's there. It's towards Hawaii. You fucking idiot. And I was like, okay. Cause she's hot. And everyone always asks me like, damn, you know, like, well, she like, you? I was like, she's fucking stupid. Like she's what, an idiot. There's a saying that I have all the time. And I've said, I've used it for my own wife. Um, and you could probably start using this and I highly recommend after this story that you definitely do. And when she says something, instead of like straight up insulting her or anything like that, just stare at her for a minute and just go, thank God you're pretty. Just, yeah. Just let yeah, it loose. I left it there. So I left it there uh, that time. whenever I, I told her, you know, that Alaska was indeed in between you know canada canada was in between us you know and she's like oh shit really and i was like you want me to really blow your mind there's times where you can actually walk from alaska to russia and she's like no you fucking can't and i was like you've never heard of the bering strait at all and she's like are you like a fucking nerd or something and i was like damn she's the only wow. person in this world that makes me feel fucking intelligent let me fucking tell you so that brings me you guys have seen this though real quick right uh, the hot crazy matrix there it is. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, so for anybody no. just listening, uh, Lemon, would you love to explain to the listeners the hot crazy matrix? You could probably do it better than the guy that did it on YouTube when probably YouTube was just starting. I would love to. I would love to. Do the, thing. the hot crazy matrix essentially says the hotter somebody is, the more acceptable it is for them to be crazy. So at about a five, five crazy is probably your midpoint, right? 
But once you get to the sixes and the sevens, the more crazy you get to, it's slightly more acceptable. It's more exciting. It's 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 fine at that point because guess what? She's going to rock your world in the bedroom, but she will immediately proceed to go outside and slash all four of your tires because when you snored, it sounded like you said something that she didn't like. Um, you know, if 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 she's if she is below that line of hot crazy, you need to keep it. You need to lock it down, impregnate it, or trap it in the basement because that is unicorn. You'll never ever find that again. Unicorn right in the bottom. If you're okay. an eight and not crazy at all you kidnap them <laughs> well which puts you into the crazy category so yeah. yeah it'd be crazy to let them go after that point if you found them if you found that one you don't let it go so so last thing and i know that we've been we're, we're running long um but last thing and this Good has to go back to alaska when when i had the opportunity to re-enlist and and move away from fort polk which i would have fucking gone anywhere um from there i had the opportunity to go to germany and i had always wanted to go to germany but i was newly married at the time um and i told the wife uh i was like you know i'd like to go to germany and she says no um it's too far away from my family i'd never be able to go back and you know see them as often as i'd like to so on and so forth i was like okay well here's all the all the different places i have the option to go she chose Alaska and I went Jesus you just said no to Germany because it's too far away her logical reasoning for choosing Alaska was because yeah but you can I can still drive home from Alaska I'm like you're gonna drive f six days to go from where stationed in Alaska three and a half of them through Canada to drive to Virginia. Yeesh. And she did it twice. So I can't, she did it Dedication. twice in three years. One time she did it with two kids. Oof. Uh, wow. One was a newborn. The other was three years old. It's a good thing. You're pretty. <laughs> yeah. Thank God you're pretty. I was, I was going to try to do pull up the uh, distance calculator to see the distance from Midwest to Germany and to Alaska to see how close oh, they like were. Air, like air distance. Yeah, just just for shits and giggles. I've as, always as wondered as myself. Do you, do you have a calculator? I'm working it. Yep. Oh God, please bring this up so I can fucking just throw this in this woman's face. Okay. Is so first from, of all, you're not saving money driving from Alaska to Virginia uh, as opposed to fly, which she did okay, take so two I, flights. I just threw a random place. Uh, Minnesota, Albany, Minnesota, and Berlin, Germany, 4,444 miles uh, or 3,863 nautical miles. Okay. So we're going to remember that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do there again and we'll do Alaska. Uh, Fairbanks. Like, do Fairbanks. I forgot the number already. <laughs> there it is. 4,281. Oh, yeah, but you're, that's going to Germany. Oh. Not, yeah, not to Germany. Yep, Forgot I think it ends up being like twenty seven hundred miles or some craziness. Uh, Minnesota. We'll just do Albany, wherever that is. Select twenty three eighty two. So it's definitely about two thousand. It's double yeah. the distance. Yeah. yeah, I was curious. Though. I'll, uh, I mean, it's a twenty. It's it. like a twenty four hour. It's like a twenty four hour flight, like eighteen to twenty four hour flight from Germany, um, and it's like a. a for like a 12 hour flight from Alaska. So I get it, but at the same time, you're once you start getting so far, you're 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 not going back home very often regardless. No. No. So we've learned a lot on this episode. Alaska, not near Texas. Hawaii, also not near Texas. Some people or near Alaska. Not, not near Alaska either, turns out. Anyway, this is uh well, we also learned that lemon is a uh, is great conversation. As all, we didn't learn that. We knew that, but maybe you're learning that. And we can't uh, thank you enough for being on this, man. Uh, check them out. Obviously, Twitch, all the social media. You probably got a link that has all the stuff because that's it's 2023. It's, that's just what people do. Follow money in the social medias. What, and, how uh, do people probably... not know to check links in bio anymore? Nobody ever looks like, in bio. What I what I I don't Ever. mean anymore. And I'll get on this rant on another show, so I do apologize. <laughs> but how do people not know? Instead of asking, hey, do you have a Twitch? Do you have a YouTube? Do you have merch? 
There's a, How do I find it? Look, look at the yeah. Where do I find it? The fucking links in the bio. They have been for the last three years, man. You just go and ask on Facebook, and then people yeah. send you links. That's how fucking great we are. But uh, ask your mom; she'll tell you. Ooh. Couldn't find you on Google. <laughs> Saw the video, but uh, it, it it didn't play. But no, this was good. I'm glad the internet's held up. The quality held up. Hopefully, the rest of this video. We might make it five minutes into this video and uh, get shut right down. Yes. It happens. But either way, we had a great time. And if that happens, we'll show you the rest of the video that happened after that. But uh, nah, Eubin, Toby, Lemon, appreciate you guys. That's all I got for this. You guys got anything else? I'm not going to put you on the big screen, Eubin. It's not Tuesday. Oh, fucking God. Because I, I am more elevated than I was the wondering, you got giraffe's quiet. uterus. Oh, I got quiet, man. I am... Higher than Stevie Wonder's hopes of ever seeing a fucking rainbow. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. There it is. There's no better way to say goodbye. But um, that's all we got. We'll see you next time. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you Tuesday. We'll see you Thursday. Or we won't see you at all. Goodbye. Hey, that, like that Stevie was Wonder. Stevie. He won't. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> all right. That's all we got. We'll see you guys.